Welcome to Electra Online. Our next uh, video here will. All right. Welcome to Electra Online. In our next video, we're now going to start again with the object at twice the distance from the lens as the focal distance right here. This is 20 centimeters from the lens to the focal point. So we place the object twice as far away. We then realize that we formed an image right here at a distance of minus 13.3 centimeters, meaning minus means in front of the lens, it's a virtual image, and we found the magnification to be one third the size of the original object. But now what happens that instead of moving the object farther away from the focal point, we're now going to move the object towards the focal point. So we're moving the object in this direction towards the focal point, where will the image be now? Notice that from a distance of 40 centimeters, we now reduce it to a distance of 30 centimeters. So we draw the first ray from the top of the object to the, to the uh, lens. And now, of course, it will diverge as if it came from the focal point. And so the ray will diverge out in this direction. The observer is on this side of the lens observing that ray. The second ray will be drawn as if we draw the ray from the top of the object to the mirror image of the focal point on the other side. But before we get there, the lens, so normally the ray would continue on to the focal point like this, but the ray will now diverge the lens in this direction. Oh, I should say would diverge, the lens will diverge the ray in this direction. And the observer sees those two rays coming apparently from back here, so the brain does this, but in other words, the brain will project out where the ray appears to be coming from and plays an image where those two rays meet. Again, they don't actually meet there. The brain thinks that they do meet there, so that makes that a virtual image. To find the position of the virtual image, we can again use the equation S prime equals to SF over S minus F. That's the image distance, that's the object distance. So the object distance was 30 centimeters. The focal length is a minus 20 because it's a diverging lens divided by 30 minus a minus 20. And so this becomes a minus 600 divided by a positive 50, which is a minus 12 centimeters. Notice from a distance of minus 13.3 centimeters, the image now has moved closer to the lens. It's now only 12 centimeters away. We can say that S prime is equal to 12 centimeters and it's simply the distance where the image forms to the lens. So what happens when the object gets closer and closer and closer to the focal point? Is there something magical, something strange happens, happens when the object actually reaches the focal point? And in the case of diverging lenses, that will not be the case. Let me show you in the limit as the object moves now to the actual position of the focal point. Well, let's plug it in here and see what happens. So when S is equal to 20 centimeters, which means it now places the object right on top of the focal point of the lens, we get S prime is equal to 20 times minus 20 divided by 20 minus a minus 20. This is equal to a minus 400 divided by a positive, notice that will be a positive 40, which is equal to minus 10 centimeters. So all it does, again, as you move the object closer and closer to the lens, in this case, closer to the focal point and right to the focal point, you will actually form a virtual image at a distance of 10 centimeters. Uh, notice right, right here, so it will form the image right here. The image will simply continue to move to the right, but only by a very small amount from 12 centimeters away from the lens now to down to 10 centimeters away from the lens. And if you want to calculate the magnification in each time, let's do that. So in the case of putting the object at a distance of 30 centimeters, let's calculate the magnification. M is equal to minus S prime over S, which in this case was a minus a minus 12 centimeters divided by a distance of 30 centimeters, which is equal to hmm, 12 divided by 30. I better grab my calculator on this one, 0.4. So that from one third to one over 2.5, which is equal to one over 2.5, which is equal to 0 0.4. But in other words, the image actually becomes a little bit larger. Hmm, that's interesting. And that does make sense because as the object gets closer and closer and closer to the lens, 
where it crosses over will be at a higher position, which means that the image actually becomes larger. Not what I drew here, so let me do that here. So as the image gets in closer and closer to the lens, the image gets larger and larger and larger. Let's calculate it for this situation. When the object is at the focal point, the magnification is equal to minus s prime over s, which is equal to minus a minus 10 over, this would be 20, which is equal to 1 half or 0 0.5. And you can see that, yes indeed, by the time the object reaches the focal point, the image is now half the size of the object, where at this point it was only one third the size, then it was four tenths the size, now it's half the size. So that's all that happens. As the object moves closer to the focal point and finally reaches the focal point, the image moves closer to the lens. Again, it's the virtual image, not a real image, and the image becomes larger and larger. Ultimately, when the object is at the focal point, the image will be half the size of the object. And that's what happens with diverging lenses.